I am Alaric from Mature Gaming, bringing you an interview with Alex Very, the Mad Cat's Global PR and Communications Manager, about the Triton Warhead 7.1 headset. I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. This is an audio interview, but I've included some lovely screenshots and some video presentation for the Warhead 7.1 headset. It looks like an amazing piece of kit. I hope that you let me know what you thought of it if you got one. And if you haven't got one yet, then it's probably still before the release date in early August. So enjoy the preview. Okie dokie. Right, this is a walkthrough with... With Alex Berry, Global PR and Communications Manager from Mad Cats. So, uh, so we are here today taking a look at uh, the, perhaps the star of our show here at Mad Cats Unveiled. This is our Warhead 7.1 uh, Dolby Surround Sound headset for Xbox 360. Simply put, this is the most state-of-the-art headset the world has ever seen for 360, and it's the world's first 360 headset to be completely wireless. Okay, so truly wireless chat communication never been achieved before on Xbox. Okay, so this is the only one that actually communicates directly with a console that features Microsoft's own security chip that allows it to communicate directly with the console for your chat. Every other 360 headset that claims to be wireless, well it isn't really because they all need a chat cable or they all need a Bluetooth adapter that fits into the controller and, uh, and that's used to carry your voice. Ours bypasses the controller completely and communicates directly with the console via 5.8 gigahertz wireless technology. So state-of-the-art wireless tech and uh, state-of-the-art features. You know, you've got things like uh, rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs here inside the ear cups, and uh, you've got power 24/7 because the unit ships with two battery packs, one inside the ear cup, and then you see we have this little battery hatch door, and it actually has a, uh, a second battery in place, so you can just hot swap the battery packs. When one runs out of power, you just hot swap the battery packs, and you never run out of power. Because we're using Microsoft's own security chip, there's no complicated setup procedure. There's just two cables in the back of the unit, one of them is a power cable and one of them is a digital optical cable to get the sound from your 360 and that's all you need. So there's no complicated setup procedure and you've got a couple of neat features that you don't get with anybody else's headset. Uh, when you press the home button on your Xbox controller it brings up a little power icon to show you how much battery power is left inside your ear cup. So you just don't get that with anybody else's headset. You've got a whole host of other features as well. You've got three different EQ settings so see when I press this EQ button it'll change from uh, movies to music to gaming so I can actually switch between different EQ settings depending on what type of media I'm listening to. If I'm watching a movie I can actually unplug the microphone as well so uh, I don't look like an idiot watching the latest blockbuster with a microphone. Uh, it uses Dolby headphone technology to give you 7.1 surround sound um, and you've also got uh, SVM selectable voice monitoring that allows the user to listen to the sound of his own voice through the headset should he wish. So state-of-the-art headset incredible product and again only from Mad Cats. This one ships this August only uh, on Xbox 360. Fantastic. Couple of questions, if I may. Of course, sir. It's what we're here for. Okay. Um, I noticed that with a lot of headsets, um, I'm, for example, using a fairly old Turtle Beach. Um, when I, yes, I know. I'm sorry. He's shaking his head and looking to rise. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, when I use when I use a lot of headsets, I notice that if I'm say playing, I'm charging my controller because the controller is a wireless accessory as well. There's a little bit of static in the background, a little bit of thing. Is this headset going to correct that, or can it not surpass the uh, power of the static? Well, you see, now that is because uh, I would, I would, I would be willing to bet that the headset you're using is 2.4 gigahertz. Okay. Now ours is 5.8 gigahertz. The problem that you have with 2.4 gigahertz technology, and we know this because we do several products that are 2.4 gigahertz. When you're using 2.4 gigahertz technology, there's a lot of different products that use the same bandwidth, that use the same audio channel. So susceptible to a lot of interference. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, controllers, as you said, use 2.4 gigahertz. So you get a lot of static interference. You get a lot of buzzing or a lot of whining. Uh, you also have to compress the sound with 2.4 gigahertz technology. We use 5.8, which is a far less commonly used audio bandwidth. So it means that you get far, far less interference from stray devices. So that static problem will not occur with this headset. It means that you don't have to compress the sound. So it sounds much more like a decent quality wired headset because you don't have to compress 
compress the audio and it also means you can use your device from far further away from your console so you can actually use it from a far further distance than you can with 2.4 and that's a big deal with the warhead because on the back of the transmitter unit you've got a line in input so you can plug my mp3 player I can plug in a DVD player and I can actually use it to stream wireless audio around the house I got a little switch on the front of my headset here which will switch between Xbox and the external input so say I've got an iPod plugged into the back there I can actually use the uh, the warhead 7.1 to stream music from my iPod as well as listening to my Xbox 360 from pretty much anywhere in the house so uh, it's it, it there's a lot of advantages to 5.8 gigahertz fantastic was it hard to incorporate this level of technology with the Xbox 360 which is by to, by current standards um, fairly old technology um, I don't think that aspect of it I, I don't think that the fact that the Xbox 360 is is now a few years old I don't think that, that created us problems it was challenging to get the warhead as good as it was as good as it is certainly but that's why we uh, that's why we're absolutely determined not to bring this product into market until we honestly felt it was the best headset ever made you know the product was originally we hoped to ship it for holiday 2011 and uh, here we are now in August and it is now shipping in August because we were absolutely determined not to release it until we got it a hundred percent right and until it was clearly the best headset on the market we think we've achieved that Unless Mad Cat has another change of heart, the Triton Warhead 7.1 will be available to all users later this month. Don't forget to read the articles at MatureGaming.com, which yours truly wrote. There is a link in the description. I'm very happy to receive feedback, positive or negative, I don't care. As you can probably tell by the way the audio cut out, there is a lot more that me and Alex Berry did discuss about Mad Cats and what they've got planned for the Wii U, the PS Vita, the PS3, and the Nintendo 3DS. That will be in a future video I'm doing, and it will be out shortly. I want to focus this video on the Warhead 7.1 because it is expensive, and I mean £200 expensive in general terms. It might be cheaper elsewhere, but that's the baseline price, so I thought its own video was needed to talk about all the features and whatnot. You decide if it's worth the money. If you've got one, I want to hear from you. Please tell me what you thought of the headset. We will be reviewing it, of course. Other than that, I think we're done here, and I will see you at the next video.